Good afternoon. We're broadcasting live from the Belt Residence, specifically Jason's room, and there is a word for you today. Reading from Jeremiah chapter 8, verses 21 through 22. And it says, Since my people are crushed, I am crushed. I mourn and horror grips me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is there no healing for the wound of my people? Let's pray. There is a balm in Gilead. To make the wounded whole, there is a balm in Gilead to save the sin sick soul. Remind us, God, even in this time of pandemic, even in this time where the dis-ease of racism and sexism and violence and corruption seems to vie for victims with COVID-19, God, remind us that Jesus is the balm in Gilead, that there is healing in the name of Jesus, there's healing in the person of Jesus. And then remind us that the church is called to dispense that balm. It's in the name of Jesus we pray, amen. I've always loved the song, There is a Balm in Gilead. It's a song of faith. It's one that dares to answer the question posed by the prophet in the book of Jeremiah, is there no balm in Gilead? Yes, things are chaotic and out of our control. Yes, there's fear and anxiety. Yes, there is dis-ease that is sometimes overwhelming God's creation, but, but the gospel songwriter sings, there is a balm in Gilead. There is a balm in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There is a balm in Gilead to save the sin sick soul. We are the people of God called to be God's balm, God's healing ointment, God's anointing oil in the world. We sing there is a balm and we're called to live like it is our task to apply the balm. The battle against hopelessness and despair, the church is called to the front lines to dispense the balm of healing in the world, to dispense God's love in places where love is seldom seen, to open up the way of hope to folk that have given up hope, to serve, in ways that bless all of humanity. Yes, there is a balm. And that balm is Jesus. And we have been called to be co-laborers with him so that that balm is dispensed in all the world. Be that healing ointment. Amen.